Do the police sometimes encounter violent subjects and end up in a situation where justifiable use of force happens and it's lethal? Yep. But does that mean that everyone in our society should be walking around on eggshells, treading lightly because the police are just waiting around every corner, trigger happy, ready to kill people? Say when. Guess we'll see. Today, I'm going to share with you five things that are more likely to kill you than the police. Stick around. I got you, yeah. I, 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 will, I will defend my brothers. I will defend the weak. I will pursue and fight evil so others may sleep. I am the sheep dog, protecting the night. Wolf hunters unite. Bring it all. It's time to fight. What's up, guys? Mike the Cop. There are actually probably 500, maybe even 5,000 more things that are likely to kill you than the police or any combination of things. And if you watch the mainstream media, you might get a different narrative. They portray things a little bit differently than objective reality. I know, shocker. Before we get into the content, guys, I have created an app called Sheepdog Nation. And Sheepdog Nation is for law enforcement, first responders, military, firearms enthusiasts, anyone with common sense, really, and anybody who supports those groups exclusive content, content creators, interest groups, and exclusive deals that make a subscription completely worth it. So head to the App Store or Google Play Store right now, download and install Sheepdog Nation, and I'll see you there. Number one, food. Specifically, crappy food that you eat, like sugar that causes diabetes. Diabetes. In 2016 alone, 1.6 million deaths were directly attributed to diabetes. Diabetes. But it's not just the diseases that come from eating bad food. We didn't even touch on obesity and heart disease. We'll leave that for another video. But it's actually foodborne pathogens. It hospitalizes more than 125,000 people a year and an estimated 5,000 or so deaths every year from things like E. coli and salmonella. That's a lot of people. No, that's a lot of damage. I was going to eat this hamburger, but it's just too risky. <laughs> he didn't do nothing. <laughs> You're three times more likely to be killed by this. <laughs> Blaming cops for having to use deadly force in deadly force situations is like suing the ice cream man because your uncle died at 360 pounds. So as it turns out, not only do we have an obesity problem and a food problem, but we have a lack of food problem. And it's not so much like kids in the slums, like maybe this kid. Daddy long neck care. And I wanna t give y'all ladies advice. But this actually impacts an older crowd who has gone a long period of time without nutritionally valuable food. It's been 84 years. So if you are over 65, you are definitely more likely to die from not eating the right stuff or not having enough food to eat than you have to ever worry about the police doing something to you. Number three, falling. In 2013, get, wrap your minds around this, more than 30,000 people died from falling. If you wipe out the 25,000 old people who fell. I've fallen and I can't get up. Still five thousand people died from falls. Slippery floors, uneven bunched up rugs, whatever is happening that people can't stand on their own two feet, I'm telling you, it's a lot more people dying from that than cops. Hashtag Ladder Lives Matter. Number four, booze. I mean, number four, booze. Twenty thirteen numbers more than twenty nine thousand people with direct related alcohol deaths. Eighteen thousand more if you count liver disease. So it's obviously a huge problem. We don't even have the ability to necessarily account for all of the incidents of homicides, arsons, other injuries related to alcohol that cause death. 
drownings, etc., etc., etc. Either way, at the end of the day, we can safely say that it's 47 times more likely to kill you than a cop. Number five, doctors and nurses. Right out of the gate, the CDC point blank states that you're three times more likely to die from healthcare than you are the police. You would think that that would garner a little bit more attention on Fox and CNN. I, you, you, I mean, you think more people definitely go to the doctor than go to, go to jail. How do you know what's good for me? That's my opinion! But if we go to the Institute of Medicine, the statistics that they provide, somewhere between 44,000 and 98,000 people die every year as a result of some type of diagnostic or treatment failure. Even if we take the lowest reported number, we're talking a number that totals more people than die in car accidents and breast cancer combined. On top of those deaths, add another 75,000 for what the CDC calls healthcare related infections. Let's say that the CDC numbers are so wrong, it's only half of what they say. We are talking about 60,000 deaths per year. 60,000 deaths per year. 60,000? 60,000! Maybe all of the clamoring around for cops to wear body cams should be on the doctors and nurses. All right, guys, for those of you that stuck around through the video, thank you. And I do actually understand that the issue of police use of force or misuse of force is not mutually exclusive to all other causes of death. The point of this video is simply, in, in a lighthearted way, to bring attention to the fact that there is a narrative and an agenda out there to paint cops and the relationship in the community as something that it objectively is not. And so if we took this data and tried to manipulate it to do the same thing in the media, you know, I think that people would call me out for it. I think people would call others out for it because you have to take it objectively and you have to put it in its context. That is the point that I'm poking at with this video. Until next time, good day.